Hey guys, Andy here. Uh, so today's video is it's almost more of a kind of a news video than an app video. Um, and as I've done in the past, it's kind of a almost a did you know. So Google have brought out a new uh, beta release of an app called Files Go. Um, basically, it's the Google's version of Apple's or iOS's AirDrop. Um, we can see here there it is in the Play Store. I'm going to tap open. I've factory, well, factory reset. I've reset the data on the app so that we're starting from the fresh. So obviously it needs access to photos, media, etc. etc. We're going to allow. And then very quickly, oh, it's almost, it's also telling me unused apps. Interesting. So, find storage tips. All these things you can kind of, you can swipe away should you wish. I'm going to close that one. But then basically it's telling you the first bit here, so you can see at the bottom there we've got storage, we've got files, we're in storage. It's giving me um, some tips on how to clear up some space. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap. So basically I'm gonna delete the cache from all of these apps. So deleting the cache is not, you're not resetting the app, the cache is just the information that the, the app has kind of stored that you might need again in the future. But if you clear the cache, it just means it'll get it again when it needs it. Um, so it's also listing, so that one there, look, DDPi, that's my dash cam, and it's saying I can free up 1.2 gig. And to be honest, none of these do I actually need. Normally, I, I take stuff off the camera, the dash cam, to transfer to do something else with. I don't need it. So I'm going to delete all 400 files. And then we see there, quite neatly, quite smartly, it's just showing it deleting all of the files. Hopefully not taking too long to do. So here we go, it's finally, I say finally, it's not taking too long, it's a lot of, enjoy the extra space, and you're like, what's that about there, look. Um, so I'm going to, oh, oh, okay. So it was coming out itself, and I pressed back as well, and it didn't like that. So again, it's kind of reading your drive. So the app cache already will be back up to 1.27, man, that's fine. So again, DJI, same sort of thing. I'm not going to do it again. You don't need to see it again. But I've got two gig on free up there. Because DJI, again, I kind of read it from the uh, the drone and I do something with it. I don't need to keep it on my phone particularly. But to be honest, I would not have had a clue that I had two gig of, of media from my drone on my phone. Same with the screen recording. I don't need to keep that. So there's loads of different than There we see there's unused apps. <laughs> Tinder, look. Mm. Um, uh, so there are all these different apps that it's kind of saying, you know, you're just not using them. Get rid of them. You can free up five gig large files that can be like four gig of large files. Downloaded files, junk media. Um, it's all different. It just, you know, just it's highlighting where you can save space, which seems obviously quite a good idea. I'm not too worried. I've got 128 gig, but if you've only got 32 gig, or maybe even worse still, 16 gig could be very handy for identifying where you can save space. So over on the files tab, you can just look at sort of all, in this case, videos. You get the different options across the top. I don't touch some of them. God knows what's going to. And it will show you the videos in those different particular areas. And again, you could just select and delete or share or whatever. So that's quite handy that you've got all your files of different type in one in one place. But then what perhaps this is the sort of the airdrop bit. So I'm going to bring in my uh, Xiaomi Mi A1 and we're going to open up the Files Go app. We're going to go to Files. So I'm going to tap on this side, I'm going to tap Send. And again, it's asking for location. So I think it tries to check which phones you're near. I don't know about the phone, why it wants to manage phone calls. That might be because you might get interrupted and it, and it needs to wants to know what it would do then. So then it says to tap receive on this one. This one's just called Mi A1, that's why it's got an M. Now in theory, I think it uses Bluetooth to detect any other phones near. This one's trying to detect this phone set to receive. And it says that look, Mi A1, and I tap that, and it says contacting. And now we cross fingers, because I had very mixed results. All right, there we go, so connect. So let's just say, I want to pass this XML file to Meg. 
So it says Andy is sending one file to me A1, all events. Now this one's still saying contact an Andy, which doesn't inspire me with total confidence, if I'm honest. There we go. <laughs> 2.2 meg sent, 2.1 received. A little bit odd. Um, but there you go. I mean, that was pretty quick. I did, so I was trying this yesterday, and I tried to send, a, I think it's about a 120 meg video file, and it was telling me it was going to take 45 minutes. That actually went in seconds. That was 2 meg. I mean, that maybe, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's updated even since yesterday. No, I can't have. This wouldn't have. Anyway, either way. So we've got a notification saying it's connected, so I can tap to disconnect there. And now they're both disconnected. And we come back out, and I assume I can tap in received files, and there's the all events. So I think that's really quite handy. <laughs> I'm quite pleased that worked first time because yesterday I tried to, to send the video, the big video, and I cancelled it, and then I could not get them to connect again. Um, I don't know what I've done. I have rebooted, rebooted both phones since, so maybe that helps. But there you go. That's uh, files go. It is in its beta stages. They do sort of. They do say if you've got any feedback, please use the app to send feedback. I think they're very, very sort of keen to get people's feedback. But I think the sooner they, you, you almost wonder why they didn't do this like a lot earlier. The sooner they get this as a well functioning, fully rounded, fully working, no bugs app and bake it directly into the Android OS, the better. I mean, that's, that's a bit of a killer feature, really, in some ways. Um, not that I've used Airdrop. I think I've used Airdrop once on my work iPad. And yeah, it was nice and smooth and very quick and easy. And actually, yeah, if you bring that to, to get an Android version of that, I think it's really useful. I mean, obviously, there are there's apps that do it for you and things like that. But bake it into the OS, where anyone with Android phone can use it, really quite handy. So there you go, files go in beta, it's on the Play Store, obviously it's free, it's by Google, it's official. Uh, check it out, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, but for now, my name's Andy, and I'll catch you all again soon. Ah, you made it all the way to the end, well done. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do subscribe by clicking the little fellow over on this side of the screen. You might also want to check out the other videos should be just there. Check out my website as well, androidandy.uk, made by me. I'm learning HTML and PHP, so hopefully it's uh, functional. But I'll see you again in the next video.